This is a follow-up from our previous video, Creation Part 1, Creation of God and the First Beings. Be sure to watch that one before you watch this one, if you haven't yet. The first two beings to arrive in our sector from one of the others were the felines and the carrions. The felines settled in the Lyra constellation, and the carrions in the Orion one, there, they mixed and experimented with their DNA and that of the local wildlife. The felines in Lyra would create the first human-like beings, and the carrions the first reptile-like beings. The Carrions told the Reptilians they owned everything they saw before they left, which would later create problems. The human-like beings moved on and populated the Pleiades. Millions of years later, this entire sector was filled with all kinds of beings who lived in peace, although there were minor wars here and there that wouldn't last for long. The Orions took the last words from the Carrions to literal and started to conquer, enslave and destroy everything in their path since their creators told them they owned everything they could do whatever they wanted. Eventually, they reached the Pleiades, where the whole thing would escalate. When the Orions arrived at the Pleiades, the Pleiadians, they'd never seen beings in ships like these since they were very peaceful and spiritual people. During the first interaction, some communication problems arise, making the Orions think that the Pleiadian would attack them, causing them to attack first. Millions of beings died and the planet was destroyed. The Pleiadians flew to Lyra and asked them for help. This was when things escalated, and a whole galactic war would start, the first of its kind. At first, the Lyrans, Pleiadians, and two other races from the Camelopardalus and Cepheus constellations would fight against the Orions. Realizing they were outnumbered, the Orions called for help from the Origas and Minoceras. Being pushed back by the Orions the Lyras then called in the Arcturians for help. Hearing what was happening, one by one, more started to join both sides in the war, although some remained neutral and the fighting continued with the scales balancing from one to the other side. Out of nowhere, a new brutal and aggressive race arose from the star Sirius, the Lycanthrope. They were faster, bigger, stronger, and more aggressive than the Orions, pushing them back quickly. Eventually, Orion was attacked from all sides and lost decisively. Being formally impressed by the Syrians and having the same interests, they join them, which the Syrians accept. Now Orion had back the upper hand with their new and powerful ally. However, a new group would arise from Sirius, taking all by surprise and giving Orion a devastating blow. However, Orion managed to hold their ground, soon trouble would arise from the inside. The leading female warriors would overtake the male throne. In desperation, the Orion male generals sued for peace with the Lyrans, so they could defend the threat that came inwards, which the Lyrans accepted, although peace was restored, it was too late, the female elite took control of the empire. But not without a cost, approximately 400 billion died due to the war, and 50 to 100 planets were completely destroyed. The Orion empire would keep standing and making trouble with their allies, a new galactic federation was established, eventually holding over 200,000 star systems. During and after this war, groups of refugees from all corners of the war came together and formed a new combined race called the Anunnaki, of which the royal family would present Anu as head, and Inanna, Enki, and Enlil as princes and princess. The Anunnaki created a planet-sized spaceship called Nibiru, or Planet X, in search of gold and resources to elevate their society. Eventually, they entered our solar system, where Nibiru would pass the Earth every 3,600 years.
they would first settle on a former planet named Phaeton or Vmaldek. Only a few million years later, they would get in conflict with the beings from Mars. These beings eventually found a way into the nuclear stock of Maldek and set it to blaze. The whole planet would explode, some of the Anunnas managed to escape to our moon, where they settled for some time. However, some asteroids from the explosion would set their way toward Earth, causing the dinosaur extinction event. But not long after, a massive solar flare erupted, destroying their moon base. Again, some managed to escape, although they were few, heading towards Earth. And with that ending this video, in the following video, we will talk about how the Anunnaki created us, the human beings, and the rise and fall of Atlantis and Lemuria, so make sure to take advantage of that by subscribing and clicking the notification bell. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want more of these kinds of videos, let us know by dropping a like.